Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Okay, this time I took a screenshot. Look, the fourth number is a perfect match. It was used at 5 14 right before this. I'm fucking confused by the timeline now. So, so they went into the room, and then someone else went into the room with them, and then they got stabbed. What's more, there's someone only- stole his ID card, remember? Oh yeah, that, that too, I guess. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. Oh wait, wait that's, that's you, sorry. Sorry. What's more, it's alright. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room? No, he wasn't. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? The oh, wait. <clears throat> That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! If he had his ID card, then... Why would he have pointed a knife at... Uh, it wasn't him! Uh -huh. It wasn't him! It wasn't him! Oh, it wasn't him! It wasn't him! Yes, it wasn't him! It wasn't him! It wasn't him! It wasn't him! <laughs> Not him! Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Yay! We got the thing! I got an idea. Maybe I should show this list with other, to other people with IDs here. Uh-huh, okay, but there's one more thing to talk about. Uh, sorry, but could you explain this whole trans what this whole transferal thing is about? We only keep evidence from solved cases in this room. Those, uh, they're kept here under the, um, pristine detective supervision for two years. Okay. So, we can only reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? <laughs> but what happened, but, so what happened to the evidence after two years? It goes uh, to sleep forever in the underground vault at the county sheriff's department. That's what we call the transfer. We do whatever, February. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I see now. Alright. Transfer will is transfer is like the funeral for old cases. After two years a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again, never to be reinvestigated. Unless it's DL6. Yeah. And what happened to SL9 two days ago? And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Alright, well. Uh. Yep, let's go in! To the evidence room! Yay! February 23rd. Okay, yeah. Okay. So he filed that report the day it went missing and the day of his murder. Fascinating. Poor guy. He can never finish that form. <laughs> oh, my God. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. God damn it. So this is... <laughs> it's hard to turn off. So this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. What's with the door right there? Graveyards are supposed to be have, supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. N nice try, Mr. Mr. Wright. You, you can't scare me. Uh-huh. Ah, don't you! Whoa, whoa, 
Okay. Did you just slap the? At, did, did did she just slap? How Ms. dare you! Gumshoe. So no, sorry, not Gumshoe. Sorry, I thought you were a good good ghost. I wouldn't recommend coming around here smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So it's true what I heard. That depends on what you heard. Right up. Please do I look like a selfish man. Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give him $50, no problem. Is it true that he gave you $50? Oh my god, I was thinking that too! So go ahead, investigate to the room. Investigate the room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, chief of police can't. <laughs> oh my god! I knew it! I knew, I knew it too! <laughs> Oh my god! Gumshoe, uh, I love you! Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's what you were talking about. Uh, actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Yeah, but also, I do really need $50. I'm behind on rent. Just for today? Boss for a day. But, but guess what? You got permission out from the chief. Now you're a boss. Now, so now you're a boss for a day. Two things. Uh, first of all, y'all want to have this. Oh, thank you, Gumshoe! I love you! You, Gumshoe! I'm so glad we're friends now. We're, we're, it's, it's great. He's great. I love him. I love Gumshoe, too. Detective Gumshoe, your boss for the day? That's all right. It's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? Oh, well, they're, they're in the mini-boss area. Oh, they are using yesterday's finding to prepare for tomorrow's trial. Oh, no. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. Ah. Uh. I'm adamant, though. Oh, I'm so... I'm so happy for you. You, 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 are, you deserve the world. I'm gonna take control and put this case to rest. Oh, and I'm gonna help you out. Hey. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Ah, of course. I'm a detective after all. They gave me that uh, locker that only I can open, pal. Oh, interesting. Only you can open? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for that. But let's talk about my boy. I always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in the court today. I see. What you call fake. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. What? Okay. That what? That case? Listen, you're gonna have to explain to me, please. Yeah, the case. The SL9 incident, of course. What is it with Edgeworth and cases with two letters and one number? Not again, not more beginnings of end. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case because Mr. Edgeworth over here is ignoring my mom! Uh. This place is more high tech than you might think. Uh huh. Every locker, locker is fixed though, only one detective can open it. Okay, but how? Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can... Oh, okay. ID, ID cards can be lost. Ugh. Why, I'm the only, only on my third car seat entering the force already. Okay. 
sounds like a lot. I can't lose my own right hand. Okay, okay. Don't tempt you. fate like that. Please don't. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The locker is coded with, um, is, the lock is, for each locker is coded. Ooh, okay. For Okay. That scared me. Me too. Open is our own. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what was that picture she had? What what was that picture he had in his locker? I don't know, we'll go to it in a second. Funny, they look like normal lockers. Yeah, the latest model, there's a trick to the handle, see. Oh, a trick? The, the handles? Okay. On the other side of the handles there's a sensor. If the wrong person touches it. This is zapped, you get a shock! If that's what happened to that, that's what happened. Uh, my hand would be black and smoking every day. Okay. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. Okay, okay, okay. There are even some people um, on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Okay. 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 Give me more. Give me I, I guess we're just gonna just take one of these lockers and stuff it in our pants. Uh. Okay. Which I assume is where we, what the evidence, uh, uh, wait, 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 what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what is that? The handprint? Why is there a bloody handprint? Which hand was it that Meekin's hands, which, which hand did Meekin's get, oh. I think it was wait. his left oh. hand. No, he was, he was his, it was his, Oh yeah, you're right. It was his Lana. She had a she had an injury on her right hand. That oh my god! Right oh hand. yes, that is true. Hang on, huh? I uh huh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, it's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. There. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Okay. Mr. Wright, what if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use, we should use her testing fluid to check it out. All right. Uh, how do we, um. Yeah, let's. Uh, I obviously spray here. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Check by the like the card number, the numbered cards. All right. The, the number cards. Yeah, the two and the four. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, there, there's a lot of blood over there. This must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Mm hmm? Pale blue blood? Maybe Detective Goodman? It's actually your name. I love you. This proves something really happened in front of this locker. Hmm. Ah, sorry. I'll make a it's note okay. of it on the floor plan. Yeah, hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Alright. Can we, like, zoom in on that one speck of blood? But, like, uh, yeah, you had it, you had it, you had it. It was, like, between these two spot, like, rocks. It looks like a fucking footprint. Uh, it's not letting me zoom in on anything. Um. Hang on, I'm gonna send you the pic. I took those. Looks almost like a footprint. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. Uh. Oh wait, no, there's this. Of course, obviously. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print! What? What's the matter, detective? This locker is mine! It's yours? Please! You have to help me when they come to take me away! Oh, I promise you'll testify that I went off the plot! I'm gonna say, well. 
You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I, I mean, you may be stupid, but you're not a murderer. He's uh, like a golden retriever or a Labrador. Yeah. This is important too. I'll jot that down on the floor plans. I've got one, you guys. Believe me, you can trust. You can't trust the police. Oh, oh wow. believe me, I know that. <laughs> I mean, the I, I mean the police like were corrupt before, uh, in the before times also, uh, like they didn't just start being corrupt, but uh. ID card? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Can you take a look at this? This is an ID card record of the people who came in here the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So, it was good men who came in here at the time. Whoa! whoa. What is it? The, 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 that, the, that second number! It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Why do you keep getting yourself into these situations? God damn it, Miles! What? That second number on this list belongs to Miss Edgeworth! Wait, huh? Um. Okay. Miles, we need to have a talk. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Let me see the sheet. Let me see that sheet. Okay. Now, who is the four nine eight, and who is the, tr the all the, 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 the all the seven? Okay. If I'm gonna take a guess, I'm gonna guess that the sevens are uh, are Damon Gant. I'm just I'm okay. just taking a wild guess here. I don't know why, but I feel like that's correct for him. Because because lucky number seven and all that. Yeah, and then, but who's the 498? That, that's what we still need to figure out. Oh, but I it! Uh... Our, we need a talk. Wait, no, uh, there's still more stuff that we can present to him about stuff. Uh... Okay, but we need to talk to Edward, like, right away after this. Yeah, we, we, we will, but... Detective Goodman's snow and that switchblade and I. I bet Edward I I bet Edward was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL SL9 incident? Can no, because of the fact that this crime was committed in his car. That was Mr. Edward's first big case, um, you know, two years ago. Oh, okay. First time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. Okay. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I, I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends on left on that case. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, we can talk to him about that. Now that, but now that was a bloody violent case. Okay. Violent, so violent, so it was a murder. A serial killing. Oh wow, a serial even. Like I mean, we we've seen a lot of killings so far, but never a serial one. I do! But 
thought the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. This was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right, uh, that put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started that rumor mill. Hmm. -mm. Rumors. About forged evidence. Up with the transfer all to that, that, that the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman. Detective Goodman, that is. What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, you see? So, so, that switchblade knife? Took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Alright, uh. Can we go to Edgeworth? I want to have a chat. Sure. Uh. Underground uh, is lot. this where he is? No. Underground parking lot. Maybe. Go. Yeah, why do we have to move between? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right, Edgy. You got some fucking splaining to do. Yeah, my love. <laughs> well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday. I'm sure it'll still be as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. Uh, I hope that's what he's doing. I guess we'll have to come back. Wait, what? Um, hang on. Okay, what? go back to the, um... Okay, well, I guess we can go back. Uh... Oh wait, there's more stuff to th th there there's more stuff we could have investigated. Uh Oh no, okay, uh sorry. Uh hang on. What uh frick. What, uh Uh Yeah, the guard guard station. Hi. All right. like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. Why oh, would he do it. that? There you go, pal. Making me out to be a sl um, some kind of sl um, slob. I'm sorry. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said... I bet the evidence locker was opened recently. How do you know? The, if you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had a person down my neck for over some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. It under uh, um, tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. Wow, we're just oh! roasting Detective Gumshoe today. We have a long day. He's a precious boy. He's a freaking Labrador. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back. Don't do it right in front of them, pal. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh. What else is here? Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner! Wow! It looks like a car door. Exactly! What was with the car door? That, there look, there's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame! Ah, oh, it was man hand hook car door! I wonder the... Maybe the 
Gaetica was some sort of escape artist and he got away. When he tore off the, the, the car door along with it. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Alright, uh, can we just investigate each of these individual lockers? This place is stuffed with evidence, stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hey, hey, every murder was once just the twinkle in the eye of a killer. Mm -hmm. Open. Did you really think it would? Tech here we just here. got we just got dial up last week. Okay, so it just does all the things. Uh, equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is. Wow. Hey, that's my personal pole. Never do get around to using it. What were you thinking when he said that? You remember how the Gord Lake case? Oh yeah, yeah, pole? that, that, yeah, that's totally what I was thinking the of fishy too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. We didn't break it, did we? I don't think we did. Okay, good. I, if we broke it, I would have cried because I'm sure you don't deserve that. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Yeah, we used it. Right, pal, that's the- no, oh, that's you, I'm sorry. Right, pal, it's the moon detector, and I like you. The one that let us solve in the case out at Gordon.